It's going to be a fascinating weekend of football for whatever happens in these two League Cup semi-finals this weekend. It's going to set up an incredible final in the new year. Celtic have won this competition a lot over the past decade and so they got knocked out in the early stages away to Kilmarnock so it's really opened it up for a new club to actually win this competition for the first time in what for some could be a very very long time. Aberdeen they haven't won a major trophy since 2014 and that funnily enough was the League Cup. Hibs their opponents today haven't won the League Cup since 2007 but most recently won the Scottish Cup in 2016. And then it's Hearts versus Rangers tomorrow. Hearts haven't won the League Cup since the 1960s. I hadn't realised it was that long ago. But their most recent trophy that they won was the Scottish Cup in 2012. So for Aberdeen and for Hearts, it's been 10 years plus since they've actually won a major trophy. And obviously Hearts tomorrow play Rangers. And Rangers, ever since they got put down to League Two all those years ago, have they built their way back up, they've won the league, they've won the Scottish Cup, they've been to a Europa League final, but they've still yet to win the League Cup. So whatever happens this weekend sets up an incredible final in the new year, and whoever wins it, it's gonna be an insane story for the reasons that I've just mentioned. Hello, man. Jack. You've come down from Aberdeen for the game? We've yeah. come from a place called Fetter Cairn. Okay, is that up? Which that way? is up in between Dundee and Aberdeen. Nice, how's the journey down all good? Yeah. And Absolutely. how do you enjoy your days out at Hamden then? Well, not being well, for... Pretty much well. getting to the pub and getting a few drinks. And yeah. Then... So success has been few and far between. Your last trophy win was 2014, That's right. which yeah. was the League Cup. What would it mean to Aberdeen to win another major trophy? It'd oh, be brilliant. Be amazing. Huge, huge. And are you happy at the moment with um, the manager and the yep. players and the staff yep. and everything, yeah? Yep. And what do you think the score's going to be today, then? Hopefully 2-1 Aberdeen. 2-1 Aberdeen, yourself? 3-1 Aberdeen. 3-1. What do you think the score's going to be? 2-0 uh, Aberdeen. Playing Aberdeen? Are you worried about playing them? They're not in the best of form this season. Uh, I mean... Should be done. Should beat them? Definitely should them. And what's the score going to be? 4-2. 4-2, he's going for goals yourself. 3-1 Three, 3-1 one, and? 2 no. You're playing Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Are you confident going into this no, one? I'm confident, but I think <laughs> if we play to our best, we could beat them. But whatever, you know, it's a case of Hibs got a goal in front and they try to play football at the back, yeah. which they're not good enough to do, eh? And Hibs haven't won a major trophy since 2016. Yeah. That's right, what yeah. would it mean to the club to oh, win one? Of course, I it's always, you know. You always want to win it, I suppose. Oh, of yeah. course. Amazing. Yeah. Big day today for Hibs. What would it mean for you to get to the final and then win this trophy? It would be so good. I mean, I've actually never been to Hamden before, so and I've yeah. never seen Hibs at Hamden. So, so this is your be... first time watching Hibs in the National Stadium? Yeah, Amazing. It would, be, it, would be, it would mean the world, honestly. And what's the score going to be today? 2 on Hibs. So it's Aberdeen and Hibs today. Yes. What would it mean to both of these clubs to actually win a major trophy? It's been a while for them both. I think it's fantastic when the wee teams win. Uh, it makes a difference. You saw it last time when Aberdeen took the League Cup at um, Parkhead. It was fantastic. Yeah. Seeing St Johnson the other week, uh, the other year, it's just. Uh, I think we all get bored of the old firm winning, don't we? Yeah, of that's, course. That's it's nice to see line. other teams it's, win trophies, I suppose. One hundred, and it just gives them that boost, that European access. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And Aberdeen aren't in the greatest of form. I feel like Europe has held them back a little bit this year. Yeah, do you know, you see that up north and south, don't you? Because Spurs are doing quite nicely without the European problem and that distraction True. really does pull them away. I feel like Aberdeen will get stronger as the season goes on, but today, obviously, they're still in the throes of this early season form. How do you see it going today? Um, honestly, going in about a week ago, I was fully hips. But after the midweek fixtures, I'm beginning to lean towards Aberdeen a wee bit. I so I'll you for a, a score bit. prediction then. Oh, I did not do well last time I tried this. 2-1 uh, Aberdeen. 11 miles points of luck to Okay, amazing. This is our man in charge. So that's the, the gaffer, right? That's the gaffer. That's the gaffer. So, new football team, yeah? yeah? What are you called? Tell me about the team. Union, Union Thistle. Thistle, where are you from? Scotland. Okay, right, and I'll take a, take it a lot of you are Rangers supporters. Ah. Celtic fan, what do you think about him being in your team then, lads? <laughs> and Aberdeen v Hibs today, are you going to this game? No. Are any of you going to the game tomorrow, Rangers Hearts? No. You are, you are. And what do you think the score will be today, Aberdeen and Hibs? Aberdeen 2 1. Aberdeen 2 1. Aberdeen are going to win. And who's going to win this trophy? 
Yeah, always really, really special to come here to Hampden Park. Look at it empty right now, a couple of hours before kickoff. Really do appreciate um, all of the access that I'm given, especially around the League Cup, um, via play, SPFL. Do go and check out their channels. I won't be showing any of their match footage today, um, as per usual in some of these occasions, but yeah, do go and check out the official highlights. I was here at Hampden Park a week or so ago for Queen's Park against Partick Thistle in the championship in front of around 3,000 fans. And today and tomorrow, we've got two huge games here. I've been to a few games here now in loads of different competitions. Um, it's always a special occasion to come to Hamden Park. Back again. I've been on the channel a few times now. Remember, this is my fourth time. So I think the last time I saw you would have been St Mirren Rangers. Yes. I think. Um, hand and duty today. League Cup semi final. What are your thoughts going into it? I think it's going to be a really cagey game, to be honest with you, Sam. Uh, both sides coming into this within different form. You know, Aberdeen, of course, playing in the conference league this year. Yeah. Hibbs, new manager, Nick Montgomery as well. You can get the crowd. They're up for it, but I think it's going to be decided by the, the odd goal. And I'm going to stick my neck in the line and see if I can just do it. Jürgen Hibbs, a legend. The atmosphere is already great, free kickoff. How, how much would it mean for a non Celtic or Rangers team to actually win the League Cup this season? I think it would be massive, obviously, for Scottish football. Aberdeen, of course, know what it's like winning the League Cup under Derek McInnes uh, a decade or so ago. Hibbs, of course, won the Scottish Cup 2016. They would love to be back at hand and picking up another trophy. So, for these two teams in Hearts tomorrow, it's massive. So not a complete sellout today, but still a good atmosphere. Look, we've got that section there. All the Hibs fans around there. Aberdeen over there. And then we've got that little section over there, which isn't full. And then more Aberdeen fans around there. And high bees all the way down there as well. first half but look it's pie o'clock for a lot of the Hibs fans that were sat around today. Boring first half actually, very very cagey, barely any chances between either sides. I say that now as Aberdeen go forward with a few seconds left. Um, sorry mate, there we go, it's half time. I'm getting told off, sorry mate. Let's see what delights await us through here. There's pies. Oh just grab a pie then please. Mate. There's steak or macaroni. We'll go for a steak. Thank you very much. Well, we have been treated today, and I've beat the rush. After all that, VAR checking it up. Side and it went through. Must be close. What do you reckon, Callum? It's very tight. I think it's going to be onside, but I've been wrong before. It's taken a while. It's taken ages. No 
we'll go back to 0-0. We've just seen it on these screens that are like here, right? And it's one of them where, unless you're dead in line with it, how can you tell? I feel like it needs to be that automated uh, VAR that they have in the Champions League or the World Cup for them to really know. But that was like one of them ones where it's just like, could have been on, could have been off. And with the camera angle, we'll just never know. It's a red card for Aberdeen's Jack McKenzie. Mate, explain what just happened. He, he was in the challenge, he's completely lost his head and he's went and shoved over the Hibs player. He's just pushed him over, he's already on the yellow card and he's just ran up to him and pushed him over. Barry Why Robson would you do that? Steve Agnew cannot believe it and I don't think he can either. To lose your head in a semi-final like that is nothing short of remarkable and quite shocking really. And Hibs have been the better side as well, so do you think that gives them the advantage? He plays Miller, but there's not much in it. He gives him a little shove. And then he's just pushed him over. That's mad. Unbelievable. Majowski's in for Aberdeen. Aberdeen have scored. Just as they've had a man sent off. Wow. Bojan Majowski. And look at those Aberdeen fans over there. Just as they've had a man sent off. Hibs have been in the ascendancy all game, then they concede. Majowski's a great finisher. As soon as he's in, you're thinking he's going to score. But, hey, what do you think of that? Hibs have played so well, and then Aberdeen get a man sent off, and then, and then they go and score. Crazy game. Football, eh? Yeah, football's a weird old sport, isn't it? How can you have a man sent off? He lost his head like that. It looks like it's not going Aberdeen's way at all. They've barely really been in the game much second half. Hibs all over him. One breakaway, through to my off that's one -0. You can hear the Aberdeen fans, really. Always a really good fan base, always a good support, Aberdeen. Of course, they've not won a trophy for 10 years. This competition, 2014, could they win it this season? They're 10 minutes away from the final. So many uh, Hibs fans are leaving. Yeah. Are they going to miss a dramatic equaliser, do you reckon? Or? I personally don't think so. There we have it, full time. It must be really hard being a Hibs fan sometimes. We'll be back at Hamden Park. Did he say the 17th of December? I yeah, thought the final would be in the new year. It's the final in the new year. Did he say 17th of December? Oh, okay. I thought it was the new year. Well, there you go. Aberdeen will be back before Christmas for the final. I'm Stephen Andredon, and I'm a Hibs fan, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you say unfortunately. It was a tough game for you, right? It's it's hard being a Hibs fan sometimes. Yeah, it's a, it's a typical thing with Hibs, you know, we get to the semi-final, you believe, you believe, you believe, and then... They have a man sent off, you think, yeah. oh, great, we're going to win it now, and then yeah. they go and score instantly afterwards, it's mad, I isn't know, it? I know, it's just one of those days, isn't it? So It must just be like, as a Hibs fan, you've not won a trophy since 2016. No, I know. You must just, like, crave that day that you finally get to have your hands on silverware again. Well, I mean, we've not won the League Cup since 2007, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and... I was actually thinking this could be it. I mean, I was. I thought I'll probably go to penalties and might get lucky. Look at this. Calm after the storm. We are the last ones in the media section, as we always are. First in, last out. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, what a crazy game of football. That just shows why football is the weirdest sport in the world. Like, how can a team go down to ten men, have less players, and then score straight after and win when they didn't look like winning at all in the game? And I mean, it's just, unfortunately, Hibs being Hibs, they're their own worst enemy sometimes. And like I say, I feel so sorry for 
the Hibs fans sometimes. And I almost feel sorry for Hearts, Hibs and Aberdeen fans. I always say that the hardest manager jobs in Scotland are Hibs, Hearts and Aberdeen because they are such, there's such high expectations with those jobs. The fans want European football, they want a trophy, um, they want days out at Hampden and those big moments are so few and far between. I actually think, although they're competing for titles, I actually think it's easier managing Rangers or Celtic than it is managing Hibs, Hearts or Aberdeen um, because you have to try and finish in the top three or four. You have to try and win a trophy. And um, like I say, these moments are just so hard to come by, especially if you're a Hibs fan, um, especially if you're an Aberdeen fan, especially if you're a Hearts fan, they all, they all crave success, these clubs. Um, but it's Aberdeen who are, Looking like they could get it before Hibs or Hearts. They have to come back in December for the final and I'm back here for the semi-final tomorrow to see who they'll be playing. Will it be Hearts? Will it be Rangers? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. I'm sure I've got loads of Hearts and Rangers fans watching this vlog, checking out who they may be playing in the final. Let me know what you think, Hibs fans. Let me know what you think, Aberdeen fans. An amazing atmosphere in here, despite it being only around 28,000. So, um, yeah, always hard to, I think, feel Hamden when it's not a Celtic or a Rangers playing, but fair play to the fans who came today they created a fantastic atmosphere i'll leave a couple of videos on screen um some old league cup final videos i'll stick them uh maybe one league cup final and one other league cup related video um if you could click on one of them to carry on watching it would make my day thank you so much and goodbye